Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, then welcome. My name's Christina and on my channel, we talk all things beauty from my own experiences. So before you go, make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video and leave any comments that you have for me down below. Today, I wanted to just sit down and chat with you guys about all the products that I have been loving for the month of March. I wasn't planning on doing a favorites video, to be honest, my last video was my winter favorites, so it was an entire season, but I really felt inclined to sit down and talk about all the products I've been loving this past month. I feel like there has been a fluctuation of how many brands have been coming out with products, and I kind of wanted to sit down and just talk about all the ones that launched and really stood out to me or products that I've been using for quite a while that I was like, you know, this month I noticed how much I really, really, truly enjoy them. The first product is going to be a skincare product that I've actually been loving for a couple of months now and I keep forgetting to include it in my videos and I really wanted to show you guys this one. This is the CauseRx, the Vitamin C 23 Super Vitamin E Plus Hyaluronic Acid. So this comes from one of my favorite skincare brands, CauseRx. If you guys are not familiar already, I am absolutely in love with the Snail Mucin Essence. That is one of my holy grail products. A lot of vitamin C serums I find can become very, very sticky once it's blended out onto the skin. It can either be really thick in a silicone type of texture and I really enjoy this because it almost feels like a very thin oil. I think this product absorbs into the skin super quickly because it's able to just thin out and spread really evenly on the skin. Now I do use other serums as well as a moisturizer and sunscreen whenever I use this because I do use this in the morning time. So I can't say that it wouldn't be sticky if I didn't use those other products, you know? I definitely use this and layer it with other products, but it layers beautifully. I don't notice any pilling. And obviously the most important thing about this is that it's actually had really nice effects on my skin. I feel like my skin is much brighter. I feel like I've lost a lot of that dullness and my skin overall looks very even. Now this isn't the only active that I use in my skincare routine. So I can't say for certain that the reason why my skin has started to change is just because of this, but I definitely think this has aided in how bright and how even my skin tone has been looking. The biggest con is that they do recommend that you put this in the fridge. And for a while, I did put this in the fridge. However, I do live in a two-story townhome. So having to go downstairs to go get it in the morning and coming back upstairs to finish my skincare routine didn't really work seamlessly into my routine so I did start to just put this on my skincare shelf where it doesn't receive any sunlight and so far it's been pretty good I haven't noticed the coloring changing at all and I haven't noticed any scent start to form but other than that this is one of the best if not the best vitamin c serum that I have used and I'm obsessed with it I recommend it to anyone that is looking for a vitamin c serum that mixes well into their existing routine and or someone that is sensitive to like textures and are turned off by vitamin C serums because of their texture. Something that I had been eyeing for quite some time and I finally bit the bullet and purchased it, it is this. These are the Clean Skin Club towelettes. I have the extra large clean towels and there are, I think 50, yeah, 50 of these towels in here. They are quilted towelettes that you're supposed to throw away after use. So you can use them a couple of times. There are no harsh chemicals chemicals, bleaches, or dyes. It's 100% biodegradable. It has a smooth side as well as a textured side. And this is 10 to 12 inches, by the way. And I was definitely on the fence about purchasing these because I just felt like it wasn't worth it to buy towels that I would use once and then throw away. What I like to do is keep my previous towel from the day before to wipe my countertops clean and my mirror clean. So essentially, I have two towels at all times just like cycling through you know and I find that these are able to be used for quite a bit of time like these absorb lots of water and then I kind of lay it out 
on my countertop or on top of my faucet to dry and then by nighttime it's good to use again and then I'll just like toss it the next day. I kept hearing about towels like face towels just harboring bacteria because even if you wash them they do still have that bacteria on them after a while of owning them you know. I just feel like this has helped my skin since it has become way more sensitive and yeah i really like these this is not something that i ever thought i would purchase but i'm really glad that i did the next product i have is a like mini version of the full size and it is the necessaire the body exfoliator this is in the scent eucalyptus and i love this exfoliator so i started to use this a couple of weeks ago i got it in a necessaire kit so these do use granules of bamboo charcoal as like the exfoliating factor the physical exfoliant in it and i love the scent of this the eucalyptus is just so fresh and it's very subtle but it, it just smells really clean to me, you know? I find that the bamboo charcoal in this is super fine and it almost feels like a sugar scrub, but it feels a little bit more thorough than a sugar scrub would be, you know, without feeling like damaging like a salt scrub. I feel like those can definitely feel super harsh on my skin and I love the way that this feels. It slightly lathers on the skin so it feels like you're also getting a double cleanse as well as exfoliating. I like to use this all over my body and then when I rinse it off, I feel baby smooth. It's really relaxing being able to just like scrub at my skin, you know? I don't know if anyone else feels that way about exfoliators and it's also really nice to prep the skin to like shave, you know? That kind of brings me to my next product which is from the brand Mod. They recently came out with a shave oil. Now as you guys know, I do use an IPL. I use my Rose Skin Co. IPL but to prep my skin like to prep my legs for IPL I do shave my legs and this shave oil has been amazing I also use this anywhere else like that I want to shave my body instead of like using my IPL treatment one this packaging like come on this is so modern and cute it sort of has this herbal scent to it which isn't my favorite but it also isn't horrible so I don't really mind it it doesn't linger very long I love to use a dropper of this on either leg whenever I'm gonna treat my legs you know so I will use a dropper I'll put it in the palm of my hands and then I'll spread it out on my legs and I feel like this is really great because it almost feels like a dry oil whenever you put it on the skin I do put this on damp skin whenever I'm in the shower and I don't find that I have any issue with oil like sticking to my legs you know it definitely feels like it really adheres to the skin and it feels like a dry oil but then the second that my razor like touches my skin it kind of slightly gets slicker and my razor goes across it really well I feel like I get a super close shave whenever I use this once I'm done shaving and I like rinse off the oil whenever I'm getting out of the shower I still feel like my skin is hydrated it almost feels like a moisturizing I, I mean it almost feels like a shower oil whenever I use it it leaves Leaves my skin feeling super hydrated and very very smooth so I have been loving this a lot this is my first experience with a shave oil and I love it the next product I picked up I was a little bit skeptical about but I absolutely love it it is this milk makeup contour stick or sculpt stick sorry these are specifically for contouring the face they do have bronzer sticks as well but the one in this dark gray packaging is going to be a sculpting contour stick i have it in this shade stoked and i actually bought this twice because the first time that little safety cap the plastic top Whenever I took it off, it completely removed the top half. And I saw a hack that Milk put on their Instagram where you scroll up 
the product to where that cap isn't touching the packaging and then you're supposed to be able to just remove it without it damaging the product so that is probably the best way to do it but this specific contour stick has been a game changer for me i wasn't a huge contour gal before like using cool toned contours i would just use bronzer as my contour you know but this has really helped give me a really defined sculpted contour whenever I use it on my face. I use it to sculpt out my cheeks. I do it on my the perimeter of my forehead and I will also use it to contour my nose now and I think that it looks so natural. This does not look muddy whatsoever and it also doesn't end up looking gray on my skin. I like to use this to underpaint but I have used it on top of foundations as well and it almost just looks like a shadow on my skin you can see right there once it's blended out more on the face it doesn't look as harsh but you still maintain that sculpted look whenever you use this and you would think that this stick would be super tiny and like you're getting ripped off right i actually compared this to other cream products that I have that are in compacts, you know. I think the Tower 28 blushes are about the same volume as these. I definitely thought that those were way bigger, but there's actually just as much product in this as like a regular cream blush you know i really really recommend this i think it has been a game changer and it has helped me learn how to like really sculpt my face the urban decay quickie concealer i have a whole video dedicated to this concealer and I, i'm gonna be honest i can't remember what my conclusion was but i will tell you guys right now this I love this concealer for so many reasons. So I have it in the shade 50NN, and this is the perfect shade for me for a slight touch of brightness, but it still kind of like blends into my natural skin tone. I don't know how to describe it. It is like maybe half a step up in brightness than the rest, like my natural skin, you know? So it definitely helps the, the face look more alive. I love how full coverage this concealer is. It dries down super quickly, so you have to work very quick with it. But in saying that, impressively, this concealer is probably the only conceal concealer that dries down for me. I still set it with powder because I do find that I do have like more deep set creases under my under eyes now. So no matter what, I will set my concealer with powder in that area. But everywhere else that I put this concealer, I find that it does dry down really nicely. I still powder my entire face because I just have oils that seep through all throughout the day. But if you do have normal skin type or maybe even dry skin type, you probably would not have to powder your face with this. I love the full coverage to it. I love how versatile this is. I've used this as a concealer with foundation and I've also used it in lieu of foundation it truly is just a great overall product. So my next favorite is this liquid lipstick from Live Tinted. This is the Hue Lip Lip Cream in the shade Ambitious. And this is actually a funny story. I ordered the shade Determined and that was the one that I really, really, really wanted, right? Before realizing that it was the wrong shade, I tried this out and I fell in love with it. This is the perfect nudie pink shade if you have a skin tone similar to mine or even darker. I have it on today with another one of my favorites. It is the Cork Lip Liner from MAC. This combination I have on with a clear gloss from Kaja just this clear shot gloss from Kaja. This gives me that pinky nude shade that I always wanted whenever I like started wearing makeup, but I could never pull off whenever I would use recommendations from other people because it wasn't my, it wasn't suited for my skin tone. Now this formula by itself, it can be a little bit drying for me to be honest, but using it with a gloss has been perfect anyways. I would probably top it with a gloss anyways. It is slightly moussey, mainly just like a thin liquid lipstick though. So it's not super, super drying, but it can be slightly drying. So I prefer to wear this 
with a gloss, but I think that this color is absolutely perfect. I will continue using this because I just, I love the tone of this. I think they did such a great job with this shade. Talking a little bit more about this lip liner from MAC, this is the shade Cork, and this has been out for ever but i just recently picked this up and i've seriously been using this with every single lipstick that has crossed my path i've been like oh this is nice i want to add a little bit of matte cork it is such a good versatile lip liner for me it's described as being a golden brown and i think the golden undertones in this lip liner has really helped to complement the yellow undertones within my skin i love mac lip pencils i think that they last forever on the lips i think that it is quite unique because of that golden undertone and it just goes so well with so many different lip products this one came in the mail to me just this week but i can tell you guys that i'm going to be loving this for a very long time i can definitely tell with cream eyeshadows when i am going to be using it a lot <laughs> so this is from the brand phytosurgeons it is a small business that is located in canada and they recently came out with the celestial ceremony collection and there are i believe four different cream eyeshadows within that collection i just purchased the other three cream eyeshadows but this one i purchased first this is in the shade astral atmosphere i have it on my lids today it is that main glittery color that is on my lids and the inner area right here and then i have the rare beauty highlight in the shade exhilarate on my inner corners here so i just did that combo there and i used the makeup by mario master mattes palette just to like deepen up that outer crease but this is a beautiful rose gold toned glitter almost so it is a rose gold base and then it has a lot of refre reflect in it i'm trying to show you guys so you can see what it looks like at all angles it sticks to bare eyelids really well but it also sticks really nicely onto cream eyeshadows and it sticks really nicely on powder eyeshadows i think that it has a perfect glitter to base color ratio i like to warm this up with my fingertips for a couple seconds so you can definitely see from some of the angles the rose gold base of it but then you also get that glittery top and i like to really sheer this out on my eyelids so you can really really get the most of that glitter so you can see there almost looks wet but you still have a little bit of that rose gold peeking through it stays on the lids forever and it just looks so beautiful nice and glittery but not too in your face i feel like i could wear this for like an everyday look if i wanted to but I could also use it to kind of make my eyes pop even more. The foundation that I have been gravitating towards for this past month, I feel like it's been longer than that, but I think it's only been a month, has been this foundation from Laura Mercier. They recently came out with this. This is the Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. First of all, this color match is perfect for me currently. It blends seamlessly into my skin, which I absolutely love. It is more of a serum-like foundation, so it's going to be a thinner texture. And because of that, I feel like it wears super lightweight on the skin. It almost feels undetectable hence why it says it's a weightless foundation. It definitely feels like skincare as well as like a foundation rolled into one i like to keep it pretty thin so i like to keep it at medium coverage but i can definitely achieve more coverage with this if i wanted to i think that if you are not a fan of the way that foundation feels on the skin this would be a good option for you because it doesn't feel like a traditional foundation at all this is the one size cheek clapper 3d blush trio in the shade very that specifically it is a trio right here you do get a cream product a powder blush and then a powder highlight here and they are all kind of complementary shades to each other it kind of takes out the think 
thinking of it, you know? So I already know that these two are gonna work together and then this is nice if I want to add a little bit of sheen, but if not, I can just go in with these two or I can just go in with one of them. I love the cream portion of these cheek trios because they are so pigmented they look so great on the skin but they're super blendable as well i don't find that they're patchy whatsoever and then the powder blush actually blends onto it really nicely and it almost kind of tones down the shade of the cream but it complements it and it almost gives a little bit more dimension to that cheek color i have this trio on right now and i think that it looks so great on the skin and this is super wearable if you have a skin tone similar to mine i think i picked up the shade fat ass and that one is so fun and beautiful as well for medium skin tones lastly is my mascara favorite and i don't have mascara favorites often. I only use waterproof mascaras. They are seriously the only mascaras to lift and keep the curl of my lashes. I have very straight eyelashes that go downwards. I have a whole video on that that I filmed years and years ago, but if you have not seen that, I always use the Maybelline Full and Soft Waterproof Mascara as my base. I'll curl my lashes, use this as my base, let it dry, and then go in with another mascara. I will always go in with a waterproof mascara, and it's the only way that I have found that keeps my lashes curled. That and the A2 Dr. Fixer curl like primer thing, but I still prefer my Maybelline over that one. But the actual mascara that has been my favorite is the Telescopic Lift Waterproof. I had been eyeing this before that whole Michaela drama happened on TikTok and then I saw that happen and I was like, oh, that mascara is going to like sell out super quickly because of that whole controversy and it definitely did but i was able to get my hands on the waterproof version because i don't think waterproof is as popular as regular mascaras you know i'm sure you guys have seen this a ton of times so it does have a flat side as you can see that top portion right there is flat and has like teeny teeny tiny barely bristles it also has smaller bristles on the bottom side and then it has more fanned out bristles on either side and it kind of acts like a hook i love just using the sides of this to coat my lashes in mascara and to really like push my lashes and define them. I find that the bristles on this really allow me to get in there and define each individual lash and really help lengthen them. As you guys can see, these are my lashes with the mascara on with my usual like base mascara, you know. I will say that this mascara makes your lashes look very long. Now it could be because I've been using my Babe Original Lash Serum again this past month and I just love that that lash serum it grows my lashes like crazy but that in conjunction with this i feel like my lashes i've been super happy with them recently it does not smudge and it does not flake on me i will keep you guys updated if it starts to do that but yeah it's been staying put you have to go in with a separate makeup remover to remove this from the lashes but i will take it i think my lashes look great and i have been loving it all right guys those have been all of my favorites for this past month i hope that you enjoyed this video let me know if we have any of the same favorites and let me know what you have been loving for the past month i would love to know what you guys have been playing with and what you've been thinking about them i hope you found this video helpful i hope you found it enjoyable and if you did please make sure to like comment and subscribe for more videos like this one and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye.